Okay, so let's do this question. Uh, this is uh, one of the few questions where um, I had a hint open, where I would just look up the formula. <laughs> Because it's uh, hard to drive it from scratch, and your textbook does drive it. So uh, I'm going to look up the formula and um, uh, use that to answer the question. Um, so it says a single slit of some width is illuminated by, uh, let me just sketch it to make sure I'm not, you know, I at least have an understanding of the setup. So I have a single slit of some width. A is being illuminated, and then it's projecting a pattern here on a screen. And if you remember seeing the, the diffraction um, pattern, there's a central maximum. And then there's these smaller things uh, next to the central maxima. And if we were asking me for locations of diffraction minima, or even approximate locations of diffraction maxima, then uh, that's the kind of thing I haven't memorized. I can just drive it if I need to. But um, what it's actually asking is, it's asking us basically what is um, intensity as a function of theta, as a function of this theta. And um, that is something that I would have a hard time driving right on the spot. If you give me like 20 minutes, I can drive it. But your textbook already did it. So let me go look it up. Um, I'm going to have to look it up as two separate equations. Because um, in section um, ch chapter 4, section 2, says uh, look at equation 4.4 and as you look at equation 4.4 what you will see is that it uses some symbols that it defined previously so this is equation 4.4 let me just write it down so i have it as reference and i think as i look at it some of the symbols i think i get it i don't need to look it up i is intensity i naught is uh, well i hope it's the same definition as, as that i naught there uh, in terms of the in maximum intensity of the central maximum, I hope. Um, yeah, and I think I can kind of see that beta approaching zero, that's good. I is going to be equal to I naught. Okay. Um, and then I have sine beta over beta squared. And beta looks different from theta. So I better go look how beta is being defined to be sure. And when you scroll up, you will see beta being defined, being used here, and being defined here in 4.2. Good thing I looked. So beta is defined as uh, phi over 2. And whatever the phi is, it looks like they're just spelling it out for us. So let, let, let's just use that. Pi times the A, I think that's the aperture, times the sine theta. Okay, that must be that theta divided by lambda, wavelength probably. So I got these formulas. I can plug in numbers. And uh, let me simulate an issue that you are going to get, or you may get, when you try to um, do this calculation in your calculator. So let's suppose I'm trying to do this calculation in my calculator. I might plug in something like this. I just say, so I'm dividing by I naught, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just calculating this. So I just say, sine of beta, and let me write out what beta is. I just say pi times um, a, that's 0 0.4 millimeter, um, times sine of theta, I have been given 15 degrees. Um, and let's see here. So all of that divided by lambda, that is 576 nanometer. And let me put in a keyword that's basically designed to make sure that it'll trigger that error. Um, so in, you know, when you're doing this calculation in your calculator, it might be on a degree or radian mode. So I'm going to put degrees here to hopefully try to force it to do calculation as a, like a calculator on a degree mode. And then this uh, expression for beta, I'm going to copy it and divide the sine of beta by beta itself. Um, the whole thing. And do I need to say degrees here? Uh, let me try leaving it alone. Um, and then square it. If you do calculation this way, unless 
say uh, Wolfram Alpha corrected the mistake for me, it's going to result in an error. I hope that's wrong value. Let's put it in and see. Uh, 5.458 times 10 to the power of minus 7. I think that's wrong. Let's see. Yeah. So here's the reason it's wrong. Um, and if you are, so in say in Wolfram Alpha, I believe if I simply got rid of this extraneous keyword, it might actually fix itself. So if you are using Wolfram Alpha, you might never have seen this mistake pop up. Because right now it says 1.711 times 10 to the minus 6. Still small, but not as small as the other number. And apparently that's right. So <laughs> what's going on? Why is math working? Uh, it comes down to uh, this beta, it's an angle-like quantity, which is why you, it's possible for you to put it into sign. Uh, what it is, it's a unitless quantity. Um, and this formula here, it's giving you beta in radians. So, um, so you have to plug this number, you know, when you get a number for beta using this formula, you have to treat it like an angle that's given to you in radians. So if you are, if your calculator is in degree mode, because you're having to calculate sine theta, where theta is in degrees, <laughs> um, it can't remain on degree mode when you calculate this. So you have to watch out. Um, beta has to be treated like an angular quantity in radians. So uh, in Wolfram Alpha, so you know, unless you say the word degree, I think it automatically treats things like radians. So that's why um, this is perfectly fine. This uh, numerical quantity, it's treating it like radians without me telling it to. So Wolfram Alpha, like a sophisticated program, it's able to do calculation of trig functions in degrees and in radians in a single line. But if you're using Handel the calculator, you have to be careful. So watch out for that. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so with the use of the formula, this is actually a really simple question, other than making sure that, you know, you're not mixed up by that, um, uh, whether your calculator is in degree mode or in radian mode. Um, I guess if you're working with a handheld calculator, probably the best uh, thing to do is calculate beta, numerical value in radians, um, and then switch your calculator to radian mode, and then do this calculation. I think that's basically the only way to make sure you don't get this. That is the wrong answer. <laughs>